Question 26. 15 times 6.1. Now the easiest thing to do here is to split the calculation into two separate calculations. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 15 times by 6. And then we're going to do 15 times by the no extra 0.1. So let's have a look. So 15 times 6, well that's easy enough to do. We could just do a quick column method. 15 times 6, see where that takes us. 6 times 5 is 30, put the 0 in, carry the 3. And 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 3 is 9. So 6 times 15 is 90. Now we've got to do the 15 times 0 0.1. Now the easiest thing to do here it's to think, well, what would 15 times 1 be? Well, 15 times 1 would be 15. So 15 times 0 0.1, well, 0 0.1 is 10 times smaller. So 0 0.1 is 10 times smaller than one whole one. So if we're times in 15 by 1 to get 15, times it by something that's 10 times smaller is going to make the answer 10 times smaller than 15. So 10 times smaller than 15, if you just divide that by 10, you're going to get the answer 10 times smaller. So that's going to be 1.5. So 15 lots of 0 0.1 will be 1.5. Now what we've got to do now is using our answer of 1.5, we've got to add it to this answer of 90 here. Because we've got 6 lots of 15, which is 90, and 0 0.1 lots of 15, which is 1.5. So 90 add 1.5. Now you can do that in your head, really, or you should be able to. 90 add the 1 is 91, and then add the 0 0.5, it's going to be 91.5. So your final answer is 91.5.